Hello everyone, this is Danny Code, and welcome back. This is episode two in the Colonist playthrough. Um, still in a bit of a tutorial mode here. Um, so this is scenario number three. Uh, so there's not going to be any battles yet. Uh, that will be yet to come, I think, in scenario four. Uh, but this one is going to be about uh, goals. So what do we have here? So it says, um, we seem to have landed on a small island with a few resources. Um, you're going to need to build a harbor and a boatyard to explore the seas to find new land. Cool. So basically, th those are our goals, and that this is uh, it lets you do what you want to do to achieve those goals. So it doesn't really hold your hand at this point. Um, so we're pretty much free to do what we want to do. Okay, with that said, uh, the first things I want to start are going to be a, a farm because we need to get we need to get some uh, food, and I'll also do a well. Um, I guess we'll put that just opposite the farm here, maybe. Um, we'll figure that out in a minute. So with the farm, we need to have pastures, the sheep farm, anyways. And the auto place is kind of crazy. Um, so I'd like to place the pastures myself. So what? that's what we'll do. Um, and we already have one. So we can see that little tile here. That's one. So we already have a sheep on it. Cute. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, so we need 49 more. So we need 50 in total. We don't need all those. We can probably do uh, less than that. Um, but... I'd like to just max it out and make it go at peak efficiency. So that's 21. So that's, let's see, got here. Just expand it out this way, I guess. Maybe one more this way. Sure. That looks good. And that's 40. So we need 10 more. And we need three more. I'm tempted to put them up in this corner. And I think that's what I'll do. One, two, and three. And that's our 50. Cool. So we are making meat. So very soon you'll see a message up here. It says we made our first meat. And now we need a well. So a well. There we go. Okay. I'm going to, I think, extend, because I, I want to plan out where I want to put my residences, because that, those are going to be next. So let's just build some roads here, because I want to do it, and I want to do the residence in a 4x4 four four block, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'll do the residences here in this block, and that'll be perfect. So I'll put the well, I think, maybe out this way. Yeah, just put the well right in this corner here. And that should work fine, right? Sure. Why not? Let's rotate that. Put it there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that works. Cool. All right, so the, there's the well. They'll build the well. And so what we need to do, or what needs to happen, is the well makes water, the sheep farm makes food, and those two resources get delivered to um, the residences, and the residences make energy. So I'm just going to put four down here, rotate these on the other side, like that. Perfect. Okay, so we are running out of logs. So our next goal um, after they build, well, during the time they're building that, is to do a, um, you need to build a lumberjack, basically. Um, and that will also help us um, clear out some room for more buildings, because Definitely need it. We were running out of room already. Very small. Um, okay, so that's that. So that's the lumberjack. We have our residences, our well, and our farm. Uh, the next thing is we need stone. So we have a stone outcropping over here. So that's what we're where we're going to put our stone. I'm just not. I'm not going to put. Do something like that. That that's fine. That works. That works very good, actually. That works well. All right, and then we're gonna put our mine, surface mine, right, right there. 
that works okay cool we are off to a brilliant start i think very good start um okay so our next thing is going to be starting to expand our land because we need more land and i think the first i'm going to expand out here to the left because we have some fish over here and i know we're going to need those so well, let's go ahead and start doing that and to expand what we need to do is build watchtowers right on the edge of the land here and we have just enough room for one here but i want to rotate that so it meets the road being finicky just like yeah that works cool so they'll build that and then we'll have a good portion of land here we won't have it all the way up to i don't think the the fish uh, or where we can have a uh, fishing hut um but that'll get us closer i also want to start expanding down south here or down the bottom here so we'll do another watchtower just i think let's rotate that again too just actually start over here because we might need that stone pretty soon well not soon but we'll need it soon enough and path now uh, just fair warning I am no expert in this game so I may make many mistakes along the way <laughs> just but we will discover it together and figure it out Okay, I think I want to prioritize. Well, that doesn't look like we need to prioritize. I think we have all the wood here that we need, all the logs anyways. Okay, and I think I want to do actually one more, one more um, lumberjack just here. Or do I? Do I want to put it behind? Yeah, I want to put it behind here. Yeah, that's better. And then we'll put a forestry sort of out because we're going to extend this road out here and go back here. And then we'll put a little forestry so we don't run out of trees as well. But we have plenty for now, which is good, um, which does remind me also um, we need to start research. And I think we'll put our research over here. So our workshop. We can just put over here, I think. But before we do that, I actually need, because a lot of research needs um, planks. So let's start our sawmill producing and we'll just put him, we can tuck him uh, I think right next to the well, right? Yeah, perfect. It's in the same vicinity as the wood or as the logs coming in. So the sawmill takes logs and makes it into planks basically. Um, and you can see, let's see, so, yeah, so it takes, I think that means two, two logs makes one plank. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think that's the way that works. Do not, um, quote me on that because <laughs> I'm not, again, not sure. Oh, we got our, okay. So we got our guard tower. Cool. So great. Um, we're going to put another, immediately put another guard tower down here i think just ooh, that's crazy <laughs> what's going on there okay just here i think yeah i think that works i just want to put it off to the you know put it off to the side here so we have enough room to build other things and we'll just build the road to the main road and that'll work Uh, we're also going to need, might as well do it here. I think, I think it maybe. I don't know if this is going to work. No, it's not. That's weird. So I think I'm going to have to come out like this and then go down perhaps. Yeah, I guess that'll work. So something like that. Um, so that won't work. That's weird. So the roads in here are kind of strange. I mean, I, I don't know what the limitations are here, but what I'm going to do, I, I think I'm going to bulldoze this and make it a little shorter. Right. 
right? So just do something like that maybe, and then do something like that. Yeah, so that works. That'll that'll go over. And actually that gives us, you know, a direct line that'll go down here as well, which works as well. Cool. Um, we disconnected our path here. So let's reconnect that to here. We don't need this part of the path, so we can just delete that. Cool. Okay. Back on track. Yeah, okay, so stone deposit, new, new stone deposit, I think. Okay, so that means our guard tower down here. And why, why does he have his hands up? Is he being held? Oh, there he goes. Okay, that's weird. Okay, I don't know. Um, okay, so it looks like our... Oh, you know, I never, I never hooked up the path to their... Oh, dear. Never hooked up our path to our lumberjack hut, our second one. Oh well, okay. We should be good. And I think I also want to, while we're waiting for things to happen here, actually, now that I'm thinking about it as well, let's go ahead and put in our, so we can start some research, which is super important. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, so let that build. And so what I want to do, I think I want to put some storage in. Storage yards, some small storage yards. Put it like uh, for stone over here, I guess. And that works. So that'll be for stone. And then, um, hmm. Hmm. Are they gonna okay so they're cutting down this tree as this is <laughs> looking at this tree because I want to build a road out this way and then hook it up over here because I want to build another storage for the logs but I want to build it on the back end here I think oh, I should have took this out first but that's okay uh, let's just go and do Hmm. That? It's not okay. Oh boy. Okay, so we gotta rethink our path here. Interesting. So very strange path system in this game. But I like it. Um it's, it's uh oops, um made a moment. Sorry, having all sorts of difficulties here. Try that again, because I wanted to make it a little closer as well. Okay, so that, there we go. That's the one I wanted. And then go down like that. Okay, cool. Right, and then back here, I'm going to eventually put in a uh, forestry, but I also want to put in a Another small storage just for um, logs and such. We'll just put that there and hook it up with the path. Oops, path. There we go. Cool. Good stuff. Okay, so, and to store things, you need to tell it what to store. It doesn't automatically just store everything. Um, so, this one will do stone. Add the rule. And that works. Because it always helps to have a little cache of uh, resources, especially stone and um, logs, if you want to build something really quick. Okay, so there we go. Carlene's small storage yard has been finished. So this one, we will start storing logs, which are... Where the logs? Where the log is at? Bread, books. There they are. Add a roll. Perfect. Cool. All right. So I really want to get these. I really want to get a fish hut here. So I'm going to prioritize building this watchtower here. And our workshop is done. So we have. We can start 
doing some oops we can start doing some research um, we need construction one and we'll need also I think in this I think in this scenario we'll need boat building as well because we have to build the, the harbor and what else was it the harbor and the boatyard so these two guys and these both need um well this needs the harbor needs construction one um but the boatyard needs boat building and construction one so cool all right we're looking good if i don't say so myself um i think i want to also while we're waiting did I you know, figure it out a minute? Okay, so just want to expand out this way as well. Because I know there's some resources over there, if I'm not mistaken. Right, okay. So, the last thing I want to build over here for now. We'll build a forestry, start getting him making trees, because I want to just do that. And then we have to give him uh, the areas in which he should be building the trees. So um, they select him and planting area. So I think I'm just going to, because I'm not really going to use this land back here, so we'll start kind of like that should work something like that yeah that'll work um, that should give him enough area cool all right so cool we can build the fishing hut now so let's do that all right so the blue part needs to be out in the water, and the red part can be on the land. Well, it'll be... Let's see. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. I'm still feeling under the weather. It's not good. There we go. Cool. And let's go ahead and hook up the path so they can start building that. There we go. And that works, right? Cool. With that, though, what we can do, um, we can go ahead and build our second block of residences as well so that we'll have enough food. Um, we probably have enough food already with the sheep, but uh, we're going to build uh, the second one as well and maybe a third one um, eventually. So we'll need all the food we can get. So. Um, after construction one, though, is we're going to need to upgrade at least one block here and start building or start having them um, producing electricity two or what is it? Um, energy energy level two. There we go. Okay, so let's do that. Let's have them start doing that. Again, I just like to do a cool square four by four block here. And then stick the resonances like that. Let's rotate these last two on the back end here. Cool. Good stuff. All right. So we have enough energy going on. We have enough food production after our, our fishing hut gets our fisherman. Fish bot. Fisher bot. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. So our colony productivity is 95, so above 90%, which is pretty good. Um, resource delivery is 100%, which is outstanding. Block road is zero, which is also good as well. Okay. Oh, we were done. I didn't see that. We're done with doing our, we need to scaffolding. We're, we need now... No, I didn't start any research, did I? 
I was talking too much. Okay, so let's start that now. Um, and the scaffolding needs planks. So, and we have some planks stored up here. And guys are cutting down the trees quick enough, so we should have enough planks to research that pretty quickly. Our residences are being built. And those should be done shortly. Probably could have done without those for a little while, maybe. But that's all right. We'll need them. Um, I think we also want to... I don't know. Do we want to expand this way? I don't know if we can fit our both our harbor and our shipyard on this side. So we may need... Yeah, so let's just do that. So let's expand this way with another watchtower as well. And perhaps right there. Uh, well, I don't. Hmm. Maybe yeah, maybe right there. That'll give us enough room for the shipyard or the other one. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's build a path on him. Just straight up here. Be fine. There we go. Cool. And we're researching. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit and get these guys rocking and rolling. Wait for this research to get done. I should have started it earlier, but that's all right. And I think that'll do it for this. We'll do research. We'll do um, we'll research what we need. We're ninety percent done with this one, so that's there. We go. Um, so let's select uh, stone masonry, and we need stone for this. And I think we have plenty of that. Yeah, we even have some stored up. I think. Yeah, we have plenty stored up. Cool. So that should get done fairly quickly as well. Oh, and we got fishings. Um, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and expand out this way to get these resources. Might as well, right? Let's grab a tower. We'll just stick him right there. Do a path. I like so. Oop. What did I do? Oh well. I just delete that. We don't need that. Okay. So how are we doing on research? Research. Uh, research is done. So we have just the one other last research to do, which is on transportation and boatyard. Oh, so unlocks construction. Can we do it? Construction one. It's, oh, my bad. Okay. So after construction one, then we can do the boatyard. And that shouldn't take too long. I'm going to fast forward the video as well. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, there we go. So we have all our research done and we can now build our harbor and boatyard and start exploring. Um, but for now, um, that'll be in episode three. So I think I'm gonna stop here for now. It's a good stopping point. 
And um, yeah, tell me what you think. Do you like this game? Uh, let me know in the comments and tell me if you have any other hints for me. Um, maybe I'm doing something a little wrong here. Um, I may be because it seems like I'm running out of resources. So if you have any <laughs> insights into this game uh, that I don't have, uh, please tell me. Um, but yeah, so cool. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. And we'll be back uh, with episode three very soon. This is Danny Code. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.